Hi, this is Mitch Hausschuld with Maximum Training Solutions. As both an athletic trainer and strength coach, I get a lot of questions about what we can do to both prevent ACL injuries and also what can we do to rehab our athletes who have had some ACL uh, injuries in the past. Um, so we're going to talk today about a couple different exercises, a couple different variations, some things that we can really do to, to train our athletes get the right stability, the right muscles going uh, where we need to go to make sure we both prevent injuries but also help us rehab some of the athletes when they're kind of in those later stages, a lot of the reconditioning type activities. So we're going to use the ultimate sandbag. I love it. I think it's a great tool. Uh, for this first exercise, we're going to do uh, a mini band sidestep, which a lot of people know what that is, really trying to train the glute med. Remember, that glute med starts up here, comes all the way down and attaches on the outside of the knee, and it's what controls this position. Most common mechanism of injury for an ACL is this uh, valgus internal rotated position. So we need to make sure we train our athletes to stay out of that position. So one way we do that is really train this glute med. Now we want to uh, train them in a functional manner if at all possible versus being on a table doing leg lifts things like that. So I'm going to have Jordan here take the ultimate sandbag. She's got the power bag here. We're going to go ahead and put her in the zercher position. Now if you have bigger guys you can also use a strength bag and really load this up. So the zercher position is great because we really load up the entire backside here. Uh, I'm going to have her take these elbows. She's squeezing them to the rib cage, so she's really getting this good lat engagement. She's also going to retract the shoulder blades down and back. So now this is actually a little bit of a shoulder exercise. Okay? From here, we're going to take this band. We attach the band to this middle uh, suitcase handle. And I'm actually just going to put this underneath her feet. Okay? So from here, we're going to go to a nice uh, athletic stance. Good. And actually going to put that band inside the knees. So that's kind of a reminder to them, keep the knees out because we never want to train this position. So from here, she's got everything locked up in the posterior side, posterior chain, and she's going to do a mini band side step. Okay? So she's going to walk here. Very good. Now, the key things we're looking at here with this side step, she needs to make sure she has toes straight ahead. You don't want toes pointing out. And she's not dragging that back foot. Go ahead and come on back. And here, because we've got her loaded up front with the band and the bag, everything on the backside here has to turn on. So we can also use this as a shoulder rehab or shoulder injury prevention or low back or uh, you know even ankle to a certain degree because the glute meat is tied to that ankle a little bit. Okay. So the next exercise we're going to roll on to is uh, a rotational lunge. So. The reason I think the rotational lunge is such a powerful exercise is so many things in sports that we do are in a single leg stance position with some sort of a rotation. The example I always use is a pitcher coming off the mound, they get to this position. But yet we've really shied away from training that in the past for some reason. So I really believe training rotation in that single leg stance position in an eccentric manner is really going to be important if we want to prevent a lot of these injuries. And going back to the ACL tie, because that's what we're talking about here, is most of our athletes, when they tear their ACL, they're running up, decelerate, plant with rotation. So it's an eccentric load on the lower body with rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the rotation. Uh, let's go with the other uh, handles there. We're going to start with a rotational lunge. Okay. So she's basically going to do a reverse lunge here. And uh, she's going to step back and bring that sandbag over top of that front leg. Just uh, alternate with it here. Okay. So real quick, this is just our entry level. Just give me three or four. Um, entry level rotational lunge. Okay? So now we're just teaching her how to load in that manner with that little bit of an external rotation while she's doing the lunge and control it especially eccentrically. Now once she's mastered that, we're going to take that into a, a little bit more of a power position. So she's going to alternate with it and get that back swinging a little bit. You won't be able to do this with any other uh, implement out there other than the sandbag, which is one of the reasons I like it so much. Okay? So she's going to try to drive these hips through and really swing that bag a little bit. Now, she, no, Jordan here is using a little more upper body than I'd like to see, um, but as she continues to train and continues to work, we're going to really work on getting those hips through. Okay, let's go ahead and relax. So once she understands how to control those hips a little bit better, then she can really work on controlling that eccentric uh, rotational force of the sandbag. So it's another great exercise. So when you have athletes that are coming to you looking for training, or if you're an athlete who's looking for some help, it's a great tool that we can utilize. Some great exercises here to help prevent those ACLs or rehab them if you're in those later stages of ACL rehab.